Unport 40 watt CO2 laser right here got it up and running and today I'm going to show you what a uh, couple of uh, modifications I've made or in prep for the modifications I'm going to make and we're going to get this in the light burn coming up. I'm Roger welcome to the shop and as I mentioned at the beginning the Monport 40 watt laser CO2 laser and I'm going to show you how to get it set up in light burn so we'll do that first we'll head over to the computer if you have other lasers that's already in light burn like I do I have quite a few then there's a little trick you need to know about or light burn won't find your laser let's go to the computer okay I gotta get this thing set up in light burn so we'll open up light burn here and since I have a lot of other lasers, before I go to detecting the laser, I need to go over here to where it says devices right next to that's a COM number. I need to change that to choose because if I leave that on COM3, it is not going to find a laser. Just something to uh, remember if you have other lasers. Now I can click on devices and I can then click on find my laser. Click on next. It'll do a little searching, and there it is. So we want to say add device. What are we going to call it? One port. 40 watt. Dimensions of your bed will automatically be added in. Click on next. It homes at the rear left. We want to auto home this on laser startup. Click next. And finish. Then click OK. Then you can go over here and you can find your laser if you have a lot of them. And I just heard in the background that it's homing all by its lonesome. Okay, so it wasn't too tough and I've played with it a little bit. I've cut out some squares. I've uh, done a little bit of engraving, a little bit of experimenting with some settings. This quarter inch plywood, just a scrap. And I've done, uh, tried different settings, different fonts. As you can see here, one of them is just like way too hot. So how is it working so far? It's working perfect, sort of. Got one little idiosyncrasy here, and I'm going to take you up close. I'll show you what little problem I found. Actually, there's a couple of them. And I'll show you some of the uh, mods I'm making as I prep this for the other modifications I'm going to be making tight quarters in here but I think I can show you what I'm going to be talking about here you see the red dot that's supposed to be where your laser beam is going unfortunately that's not where it is and I did a little uh, real low power fire on the laser beam to see where it was and where wasn't even close so well, I found out why this isn't tight and it's one of the few things I forgot to check when I was checking everything on here there's a screw right here that I'm going to have to get this lined up with the laser beam and tighten that screw up. So first I'm going to have to go in the light burn there and set this to test fire that at very very low power and then align my laser dot with the other laser. Well, I think I got a better way to do that. I turned my uh, power way down here and I've got this wood. Actually I'm going to get a square corners here. Get that squared up in the corner and I'm going to test fire this and burn a dot and then I'm going to aim my red laser at it and of course I'm not going to look at this as I test fire it other than into the camera monitor because that won't blind me so there's the dot so now I have a dot here so all I need to do is get my pointer aligned looks like I need to make that actually needs to go two different places this is not as easy as you think it is so I'll test that again see if I'm on my dot Well, I'm in line this way on the y-axis. I should say I'm aligned this way on the x-axis, but I'm not aligned this way on the y. And I don't see any way to move this any direction. Okay, this can be aimed. There's a little screw right here. So this is kind of floppy in there too. Of course, you need a really, really short, stubby or right-angle screwdriver. 
but I think I'm going to try to get myself aligned that way. I'm going to do another little test fire here, make another dot. Make sure I'm aligned. Okay, I'm aligned on the y-axis here on the x, but not on the y. It needs to go that direction just a little bit. Okay, it's not like it needs to be super tight. It just needs to be snugged up a little bit. So I just grab the outside of that screw with these little tiny needle nose and torque that up a little bit. So now I'm all lined up there. I'm going to move this over and do another test fire, see if I'm lined up. And I am now right on the money. So what other little thing did I run into? My water temperature right here quit working. Well, I thought it would be the batteries. So I opened up the lid here, scraped the glue out of the back of that. To open that, you just pop this open like this. Gives you access to the batteries. Well, it just so happened I have a digital caliper that uses those same batteries. So I went and got two new ones and put in there. And it made absolutely no difference. However, while this was running, that did flash on a couple times, but then it just goes right back out. So there's something wrong with this. Uh, I prefer to have a different kind of display anyway, so I'm not going to go after Monport for one of these little inexpensive parts. It's, it, these things are less than 10 bucks. So I'm going to upgrade this to something a little snazzier. And I've done one thing that everybody should do in their laser room. Have a fire extinguisher. Stuff can happen. Doesn't mean it will. But if something does and you don't have that, you're really going to wish you would have spent the $15 and bought one. Okay, what you see back behind there is what I'm going to be using for my air assist when I put on there. So my air, my shop air is right below me here, down in the shop. So it's just a matter of coming up through the next to the vent below the window. So I'm going to be using shop air and I'm going to be going after my filter and dryer. So I don't really need a filter on here. I don't need a dryer because I've got one down there. This regulator here I already had and it does have a filter on it, but that's fine. So I'm going to be cranking this down to about 10 PSI. My shop air will connect right here and then coming off the other side. Down low down there I've got a little, I guess you would call it a manifold. And one of those valves I'll be able to control the air to this laser. and One of the other valves I could take it to whatever other laser I'm running in here. For example, inside this ComGrow enclosure is an Atom Stack A7 Pro. So I can uh, run air to that instead of using a separate pump that does have air assist on it. And I usually use a little auxiliary pump, but now that I have this and they're so close together, kill two birds with one stone, as they say. Okay, the laser's sitting kind of cattywampus right now because I've got it pulled out away from the window so I can show you that air assist mod down there. But I do have my uh, vent all into the window there and I've got it all sealed in. Uh, the fuming extraction on the Monport seems to be pretty adequate because I am so close to that vent. But I may add an auxiliary blower like I have for my uh, Atom Stack over there. Probably the same blower and I'll take the fan out that's already in the Monport. That way I'll absolutely have good positive exhaust because as I was doing my little test on graves I could still smell just a faint bit of smoke in here. And this room had a smoke detector and it didn't go off, but uh, if I can smell it, then it's getting in here. So there's getting a setup and light burn. Not tough, pretty easy. A couple little idiosyncrasy things I found. The uh, little laser pointer in there, that, that wasn't all that hard to correct. The uh, water display, though, I am definitely going to upgrade that and might even put a color one in there. So that's uh, the latest update on this. I'm still waiting for my chiller to get here. It's still on back order. And I'm going to be taking the uh, bed out, putting a scissor jack in, scissor lift, I should say, not a jack. A little scissor lift in there. And I'm going to be changing the LED lighting. Right now you got that little strip at the back. I'm going to put LEDs all the way around the window here, pointing down so I can see in there a little bit better when the lid is closed. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. And there's going to be loads more videos on this laser coming up here in the near future. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger in the laser room in the loft above the shop. See you in the next one.